Community planning provides an open, orderly approach to determining community needs and developing a guide for local decision-making. It's focused on the development and design of land use and the overall environment. There are many tools used in community planning, but one of the strongest is that of zoning. Zoning allows governments to control the physical development of, and uses for, land. It also specifies where residential, industrial, recreational, or commercial building and use may take place. For example, an area zoned as residential might only allow single-family homes as opposed to duplexes or apartment complexes. On the other hand, a commercial zone might only allow certain commercial or industrial uses within its boundaries. Zoning also helps prevent conflicts between uses. It helps to keep a community's growth balanced and consistent. Zoning boards have multiple tools available when deciding how to zone an area or in addressing district-wide or individual zoning requests. One of these types of tools are variances. Groups or individuals request variances for exceptions to a municipality's zoning ordinances. They're decided case by case and apply to that specific property. The two main types are area and use variances. An area variance might be a homeowner requesting permission to build a structure closer than normally permitted to a street. A use variance might be something like a property owner requesting to change a single family home to a multifamily residence. Another type called conditional use permits are issued by municipalities for use generally not allowed in a zone, and they're usually issued through a public hearing process. Conditional use permits can be permanent as long as the governing body's conditions are met. Downzoning is the process of reclassifying a property to lower density or more limited use. This might occur when a community rezones a parcel from multifamily to single family designation. The designation of non-conforming use can be given to a property that doesn't comply with zoning regulations. This might occur when a use was originally in compliance but changes made to the regulations force a property into non-conformity. The use may be designated as lawful and allowed to continue, but there may be certain restrictions, such as it may have to become compliant within a certain amount of time. It may not be allowed to expand. The property can't revert back to prior use if the status changes, and if the property is damaged beyond a certain point, it may not be repaired to accommodate the outdated use. Finally, temporary use is permitted on a property for a specific purpose, and usually for a specific time period. This would be for events like street fairs or parades. It's always best to know your local zoning regulations and have a solid understanding of them.